everybody, it's Jenny J, 1911. I am super excited because today I have something called the Excalibur. So the Excalibur, as you can see, we're empty and our magazine is dropped. So the Excalibur is chambered in nine millimeter. This is a sport pistol that is aimed at the competitive shooting market. It comes in at a lower price point. So uh, the company that has created this is called Grand Power and they are located in Slovakia. They've partnered up with Global Ordnance out of Sarasota, Florida and Global Ordnance is the distributor. So uh, a full disclosure here for you guys, I have already shot about five, th five rounds through this Excalibur. Now, when I was out at the range the other day, my friend Dennis has been bugging me and bugging me. He kept saying, you've got to try the Excalibur, you've got to try it. And I always had something else to shoot. So the other day he said, why don't you take it out and try it? So I took it out on the range, shot about five rounds through it. And it only took me those five rounds to realize that yes, I definitely, definitely want to do a review on this gun. So, Let's go out to the range now and I'm going to shoot it and then we'll come back and we will finish up at the bench, but um, you're going to have to keep watching to find out what I think about this gun and why I was so interested after five rounds in doing a review on it. So let's go out to Gateway and get shooting. All right, so it is time. We're going to shoot this Excalibur chambered in nine millimeter and uh, put some holes through this splatter target and just see how this performs. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, love it when a plan comes together. Well, not too shabby. Um, you know, I, like I said, I had already shot this gun before. Um, I had just put maybe six rounds through it. So I don't know. I already knew kind of what to expect, but this was just amazing. It was, you know, the recoil is very minimal. And it is so, so easy to stay on target. And so I'm very happy with how my target looks so far. I am going to put, I don't know, a couple more magazines through it. And, you know, we're just going to see if we can keep up this, uh, keep up this trend. <laughs> and I will say, these are, these are my reloads that I have put in here. So I'm shooting my own nine millimeter reloads. This gun seems to be handling them very, very well. And also racking that slide is so nice. It's really, really easy to rack. Not really much left to the center of my target. <laughs> so, um, you know, my splatter target, I actually haven't had any of my rounds of my initial 20 rounds go off my splatter target yet. So that's pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, this is just such an easy gun to shoot. You know, I wouldn't say that it's, I don't know, very exciting to look at to me but it is really easy to shoot. It's just so easy to stay on target. And I think, you know, when you find your point of aim and, and it's easy to stay on target, you're gonna hit really, really well. So yeah, I really, 
really enjoy this gun. Um, it's a little bit heavier than you would expect it to be too. And you know, I've said it a lot of times, I like it when it's a little bit heavier. I like a little bit weightier gun. So, all right, we're gonna put 10 more through. See if we can get rid of the center of that target completely. <laughs> I still see a tiny bit of orange. <laughs> There we go. I don't see any orange anymore. <laughs> okay, well, oh my gosh. You know, I've, the more I shoot this, the more I enjoy it. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel like, you know, this is my friend Dennis's gun and he has been saying for a long time, you ought to shoot the Excalibur, you ought to shoot the Excalibur. And I was like, I, I don't know, whatever. Oh my gosh, I kind of wish I wouldn't have waited so long to shoot it because this was incredible. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, all right. Well, um, we're going to play around with this a little bit more and we're going to go back to the bench and we're going to give our final thoughts and I'll let you know exactly what I think and we'll talk a little bit about this in more detail. All right, we are back from the range and I think you got a pretty good impression of what my thoughts are initially on this gun. So first of all, let's get a little bit of the specs out of the way, okay? So I will show you, I'm dropping my magazine and I'm empty, okay? So we're safe. All right, so this gun, this Excalibur has a five inch barrel and the overall length is 8.7 inches. It weighs 28 ounces without a magazine, okay? And the capacity of each of these magazines is 15 plus one. So I will say that before we get into some of the specifics of this gun, I will say that they provide you with other goodies too. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a canic, just in that they give you other goodies in the box. So first of all, let me show you, it comes with three additional back straps. So you can tailor this gun to exactly what you want it to feel like, okay? And then they also give you a brush, so that's pretty cool. And they give you, of course, your instruction manual, very important. Um, they give you a couple of extra springs. Now, these springs are both different from each other and they're different from what's already loaded in this gun. This is so if you want to tailor your gun to your wishes, then you can use one of these springs. Um, this is probably aimed a little more at like if you wanna actually competition shoot with this gun. That doesn't mean you can't use these though if you're not competition shooting. And of course, they give us a lock and this is also really cool. They give us some additional safeties. Now I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. Um, let me put all these goodies back so I don't lose them. All right, so first of all, uh, we have this trigger and when I first racked the slide and dry fired this for the very first time, um, we had the pleasure of being surprised by how nice this trigger was. This is such a crisp trigger and it's got a really, really clean reset. Great for being a nice competition pistol. All right, it also has a skeletonized slide. So you'll see up here that it's got basically like these lightning cuts. It's skeletonized is what they call it. And they also have the red fiber optic for the front sight. And the back sight is a blacked out back sight, but it's got serrations on it. It's also adjustable. So you can move that up or down however you 
want to tailor your site. Um, now, what I want to talk about, I mentioned a minute ago how they gave you those extra safeties. Those are different than the ones that come on the gun when you first take it out of the box. These are oversized. These things are huge. Honestly, when I first pulled this out of the box, I was like, wow, those are really big safeties. Now, this is an ambi safety, so you can see it's moving up and down. But what's really cool about this that I realized very quickly is that this safety also serves as a thumb rest. So while you're shooting, you can rest your thumb right on top of that. And it makes it very, very ergonomic and comfortable. The other two things that are oversized on this gun are the slide release and then also um, the mag release. Super easy to find. So when you wanna do anything quickly with this gun, that kind of seems to be the theme of this gun, you're able to do everything with it quickly. But all of those things are oversized because that way they're easy to find. All right, now I wanna talk a little bit about the barrel, okay? This barrel is unique. It's not like a lot of other barrels. Yes, there are other guns on the market that might have a similar barrel, but this Excalibur is definitely unique in that it has a fluted bowl barrel and it also rotates. So you can see uh, in this video, I'm gonna work the action and all of these things help with the recoil. So when I pull the slide back, you can see that the grooves in the barrel are really, really deep and they're deeper than any other, most other barrels that are grooved. Another thing that's super unique about this is that the barrel does not tilt. I'll say it again, the barrel doesn't tilt. It rotates 90 degrees because when it does that, it takes on a new round and then it locks into battery after it rotates back. So the rotating barrel gives you a lower bore axis. All of this combined helps you stay on target and you know when you stay on target, you don't have to reposition yourself or find your line of sight, you're gonna shoot more accurately, which is what I experienced at the range. And it was just so incredible to shoot that. And you know, I didn't shoot double action. This is also a, a double action, single action trigger. So you could choose to shoot double action if you wanted. I only shot single action out of the range. That's just how I I don't know, I enjoy shooting more. So, all right, let's get back to the slide. I wanna talk a little bit about this because here's another really interesting feature about this. All right, you can see right now, I don't have a magazine in, okay? I'm pushing my mag release. There's no magazine in here, okay? This kit comes with three magazines and I'm gonna mention that again in a little bit because there is one beef I have with this. But these three magazines, okay, like I said, they're 15 plus one capacity. Now I wanna show you something because I'm gonna put my safety on, okay? And not every gun does this, but when you put your safety on, okay, I am going to, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock my slide back, okay? And then I'm gonna put my magazine in. So when I put my magazine in, you can see this is an empty magazine, okay? Empty magazine, put my slide in, nothing happens, okay? I'm gonna take my magazine out. Now you notice I just put the magazine in gently, okay? I'm gonna put it in a little more forcibly now and you're gonna see nothing happens, okay? It still stays locked open. This is where it gets cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this down. I have a snap cap right here, okay? I'm gonna load it into my magazine and as I drop it in the case. All right, so you see my snap cap is in my magazine, okay? My safety's still on, right? You see that? Safety is still on, snap cap's in the magazine. If I put my magazine in gently like I did the first time when it was empty, nothing happens. See that? It's still locked open, okay? I'm gonna drop it. You see my snap cap is still there, okay? Now, I'm gonna slam it in like a competition shooter maybe would, 
okay? I'm gonna slam this in. Check that out. It's like magic, right? Now, my safety's still on, okay? So I'm gonna take my safety off, but I'm also going to show you my round was chambered, okay? It did leave the magazine, it got chambered, and how cool is that? I mean, very, very few guns do that. And I just thought that was an interesting feature. So it makes this gun very, very versatile in so, so many ways. Um, so now the one thing I wanna say, I told you I had a beef with this, and this was actually something that my friend Dennis also said he had a beef with. He bought this brand new. It came with three magazines, okay? Let me move my snap cap over here. So here are all three magazines, okay? If we were to put one magazine into the gun, okay? We'll put that in the case. We have our second magazine, okay? We're gonna fit it right here into the case. Now, here's the problem. Where do I put this third magazine? <laughs> so, I mean, very gingerly, I think what we've been doing since we had this, we just kind of put it here and make sure it's not touching anything. And then you close the case, but it just doesn't fit in there nicely. It, you know, you wanna feel like you want to feel like nothing's going to get damaged or scratched. So that is the one little tiny complaint I would have with this. Obviously, that does not affect the function of this gun. It's just one of my own personal preferences. I'd like to be able to put all three magazines in this case. So long story short, I think you know, I really, really love this gun. This gun retails for about $800. And if you're thinking about, you know, competition guns usually are a lot more expensive than that. If you wanted to try a competition gun or even just a fun gun to shoot, I mean, this is such a great, great option. Um, I had a blast, <laughs> get it, a blast shooting this. Um, Dennis loves it. Our friend Les out at Gateway loves it. My husband loves it. I mean, we just don't really have anything to complain about with this pistol. So I would love to hear from you guys if you have ever shot one of these Excaliburs. I feel like it might be one of these overlooked guns kind of flying under the radar. And if you ever get a chance to shoot one, please do so. And then you can send me a thank you note in the mail. So. Um, I really want to hear from you. Drop a comment below. Make sure you hit like and subscribe on this video and make sure you pass it along to your friends and family. Maybe they're looking for a gun like this. And make sure you also are subscribing so that we can reach our 5,000 subscriber mark so that we can do our drawing of our Dylan RL 550C reloading press giveaway to one lucky subscriber. As soon as we hit that 5,000 mark, we're gonna draw a name and Jenny J is gonna send you that press. We have teamed up with Full Circle Reloading in St. Charles, Missouri. So make sure you do that. The faster it happens, the sooner you might get to win. So let me know what you think about this gun and I look forward to talking to you all again soon.